All right, so this is my disassembly of my 3080 um, Zotac, uh, which has a water cool heat, ki heat killer 5 block on it. I had already started filming, but unfortunately there was a problem with it. So, you know, just FYI. So usually when gaming, my card, the GPU core will reach 50 to 52 degrees, depending on the temperature of the room itself. The memory will go up to uh, 1995 at the very least. The problem is when doing memory intensive tasks, the memory will easily shoot up to 105 and uh, the only way to keep it under 105 is to undervolt and turn everything up to uh, 100 all fans all pumps and everything which is completely stupid because it shouldn't happen uh, not with the big water block on it so what i'm gonna do now is take it apart and see if the thermal pads are actually making good contact so I've lost one of the spacers there that's okay we'll find it afterwards so I'm just unscrewing the outside outside screws uh, chassis screws you would call them the GPU the GPU screws are these ones I'm gonna do them last because I don't need to do it right now um, I'm gonna be putting it back with an alpha cool back plate, um, alpha cool with a water cool back plate. So there's gonna be a back plate gonna go in, gonna go on like that, something like that, something like that. See, all right. Just so I can get even more, even more memory cooling on these parts. But that's gonna be for later. For now, let's just focus on getting this off and uh, we'll see if there's a problem with it. All right, for those of you who are wondering, there might still be some leftover, some leftover thermal compound from the pads that were in here. They were really soft and one of them was actually sticky, but you know, it, it shouldn't, it shouldn't insulate in, in any way, and if anything, it should help with uh, should help with temps. I mean, it shouldn't be a problem, anyways. Right. So uh, I've done everything out. Okay, let's take this off. One. One. Just one. Just do it one at a time. good so I need to make sure that I keep these four together I think they're the same screws I think so so they're gonna stick together Okay, so unless I'm mistaken, <clears throat> everything has come off. Everything inside, yeah. One major problem with this uh, water block is that there is absolutely zero structural support for the IO shield. Like this thingy, this thingy that usually screws, it's got three screw holes. Like one over there, 